Encouraging news in the race to come up with a COVID-19 vaccine. Pfizer has announced its vaccine has proven to be 90% effective at preventing the virus. That's a far better performance than what is required for a new vaccine to be approved by the Food and Drug Administration and the Centers for Disease Control. Stocks surged today and Wall Street is being catapulted back to record highs on hopes that the economy can get back to normal. News 4 Jack's consumer investigator Lauren Verno joins us now. And Lauren, the question everyone will be asking now is when could this vaccine be available for the public? So Mary, that is the number one question right now, but I do have to say this is great news for the effectiveness of a vaccine, but the chances of getting it approved before the end of the year is still highly unlikely. However, because the vaccine is proving to fight the virus so well, it could mean we'd be getting back to a pre pandemic life even faster. Good news is hard to come by during a pandemic, but on Monday there was a glimmer of hope. I think that uh, likely based on impact that will be the greatest medical advance in the last 100 years. Pfizer CEO Albert Borla announced early data for its coronavirus vaccine was 90% effective in preventing the virus. For reference, the flu vaccine is about 50% effective. Former Duval County Medical Society Foundation President Dr. Sunil Joshi explains how Pfizer got that number. In the studies that they were doing, looking at people who received the vaccine versus the ones who didn't receive the vaccine going forward, that the group that received the vaccine was 90% less likely to be infected with COVID-19 versus the group that didn't receive the vaccine or otherwise received placebo injections. So what exactly does this mean for us at home? If we're getting these numbers now, does that mean we're going to get a vaccine soon? Well, no, we still, you know, we still need to finish the safety uh, data. Pfizer announced that they are on track to apply for emergency use approval from the FDA later this month. Uh, which means that it might be available for the rest of us as a vaccine um, sometime in early uh, 2021, so by the spring for sure. Dr. Joshi believes the vaccine will first go to those most vulnerable. Right now, the vaccine will be a series of two shots. You get the first one, and then three weeks later, you get the second. And once the vaccine is more widespread, Dr. Joshi believes everyday life can start to get back to normal. And today, President-elect Joe Biden announced he wants a vaccine to be widely available for free. Now, President Trump has also said he wanted that vaccine to be for free throughout his administration. In addition to Pfizer developing a vaccine, there are also nine other candidates in late stage testing around the world. Another U.S. company, Moderna Inc., hopes to file an application with the FDA later this month. Lauren Verno, Channel 4, The Local Station. So Lauren, we know some people have hesitations about getting that first vaccine. Did Dr. Joshi address those concerns? Patients are, his patients are even coming to him now talking about it. And he said if the FDA reviewed this study and feels that it is safe based on the thousands of people who received the vaccine over the last year, then the general population should f feel comfortable receiving that same vaccine. Mary? All right, Lauren, thanks so much. And tomorrow on the morning show, local epidemiologist Jonathan Cantor joins us to discuss Pfizer's success in the development of a COVID-19 vaccine. That's coming up at 740 tomorrow on the morning show.